एंड वेलकम टू इकोहॉलिक्स टुडे वी हैव गॉट अनदर टाइप ऑफ फैलसी इन द लॉजिकल रीजनिंग पार्ट ऑफ यू जी सी नेट पेपर्स विच वर प्रीवियसली आस्ड क्वेश्चन नाउ ह्योर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ फैलसी विच यूजली इज यूनिक इन नेचर एंड ऑल्सो इज मोस्ट कॉमनली आज इन वेरियस कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स हेड टू दैट फैलसी दिस फैलसी इज द अनडिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड मिडल नाउ वेन वी कॉल any term as the middle term it is that term which links the two arguments uh, in the premise if the arguments are not linked then the conclusion becomes invalid so which is why the middle term is very crucial for the arguments for example if i say that all subject is predicate okay and then whatever is the predicate if i use as a subject in the next sentence so that will be a link that i'm drawing between these two statements when i draw such links between these two statements in my premise my conclusion becomes valid in nature but then how does it become invalid in nature let's figure this out so here we have the undistributed middle now there are four types of sentences as we all know the a type of sentence which is basically all type of sentence or universal positive sentence then we have e type of sentence which is universal negative sentence then we have i type of sentence which is particular or partially inclusive sentences and then finally we have o type of sentence which is partially exclusive sentences or partially negative sentences now there is a specific rule with regards to distribution of terms and non distribution of terms in all of the four statements so let's also see what is the rule behind all of these four statements so the first term in the a type of sentence is distributed which basically means that in a the first term will be the subject so subject will be distributed in a type of statements while the second term which is the predicate so this is predicate this is subject in a type of sentences the subject is distributed while in the o type of sentences which is exactly opposite of a type of sentences the second statement is going to be distributed right so vice versa also applies for example in a type of sentences uh, the predicate is undistributed and the in the o type of sentences the first term is undistributed so it's it works in the opposite direction then we come to the e type of sentences which is universally negative sentences now in the universally negative sentences both are distributed both the terms subject and predicate both are distributed in nature and final one which is i type of sentence in i type of sentences no one none none are distributed or subject and predicate both are undistributed okay now because of these rules we can find the links between the first term the middle term and so on and so forth and that is why we can find out the valid conclusions however we will show with the type of undistributed middle fallacy how uh, conclusions can become wrong okay so um, let's go further and uh, look at this example now in this example let us look at these three statements okay now in these three statements we have two a type of sentences in in the a type of sentence what have we learned that the first term over here also the first term what happens to the first term the first term is distributed so the subject is distributed which basically means that b or the middle term middle term which is a bridge between the first and the second term because both in both the sentences we have b so b is the common link b is the middle term but b in both the arguments is undistributed why it is undistributed because it is an a type of sentence why is it a type of sentence because it's all subject is predicate that type of sentence now how would you conclude this now the conclusion that is given over here is all y is z 
all y is z now the reason why all y is z becomes invalid is the first reason is that the middle term is undistributed in both the arguments which is not valid which is against the rules it is uh, like a fallacy fallacies conclusion can also be found out by using just a simple venn diagram and looking at observing at the logic in the venn diagram so how would you draw this uh, all z is so i'll just erase all of this so that it's visible so if you say this all z is b if you say all z is b so you would draw this all z is b then the second one is all y is b so all y is b you can also draw this in the same diagram so all z is b and all y is also b however all three diagrams that all three venn diagrams that we have drawn will not conclude that all y is z because both of them are a part of b but we do not know with the given arguments whether they are a part of each other or not or they are a universal part of each other or not and which is why this is a middle term fallacy so whenever you will have a middle term fallacy you will have an invalid conclusion so this is the example related to the undistributed middle fallacy for uh, knowing about more such fallacies we are going to upload more such videos so stay tuned and subscribe to our channel ecoholics thank you